For more on the possibility of such an attack, we are joined by James Lewis. He's director of the Technology and Public Policy Program at the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington. Welcome. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How likely is it that such a sophisticated attack, a kind of cyber Pearl Harbor, if you will, could take place? Is it really a significant threat to this country? You know, it's, it's unlikely. Uh, what we're seeing is really uh, massive espionage uh, carried out at a huge level across the entire American economy. You know, sure, countries like Russia or China could attack the U.S. using cyber weapons, just like they could with missiles or airplanes, but they're not going to do it just for fun. We'll have to be in a real shooting war with them. So I don't worry too much about an electronic Pearl Harbor. I worry a lot about spying. So, in other words, this is just a nation or nations probing the U.S. for information, not attempting to, say, shut down the power grid or cancel communications. No, that would be a really big deal. If you shut down the power grid in the U.S. and we figured out it was you, you would be inviting some really tremendous retaliation. How do you respond to a cyber attack? Has that been given any consideration? Do you respond in kind, or can it progress to, say, some sort of physical retaliation? There's a debate over that, and some people call it, should we move away from keyboard versus keyboard or geek versus geek to a kinetic response? And I think what the U.S. has said to other countries, we probably need to say it again, is don't assume that we'll limit ourselves to cyber. You might get a kinetic response. And that's kind of put these countries on notice. You know, turn off the power plants in the Northeast. Uh, maybe the next thing you see is a cruise missile. Not something people are just going to do if they wake up in a bad mood. And how um, prepared would you say the United States is to fend off any sort of cyber attack? Right now, we're almost completely unprepared. Uh, we haven't really done much in the decade or so we've been worried about this. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. This administration takes the problem seriously. The last administration started to take it probably pro the problem seriously. But currently, we're pretty much just a big fat target that anyone could hit. And getting back quickly to the Google attack, do you believe that the Chinese government was behind it? This is a traditional pattern in Chinese espionage. It certainly looks like the Chinese government. They've done it before. They'll do it again. And are we likely to do anything about it in response? I hope so, because it's been going on for a long time. And one of the reasons you see incidents like Google is because the United States has never objected. And going back to the Chinese or whomever, and saying, hey, you know what, if this happens again, there's going to be consequences. That would really help improve things. It doesn't have to be a military consequence. Maybe it's going to the World Trade Organization. Maybe it's some sort of trade sanction. Maybe it's something else. But we need to put consequences to bad action in cyberspace. James Lewis, thank you very much. Thanks.